Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ostermas key skill video on calculating with metric measures of length. So let's read this first problem. Sophie is running laps of 500 meters each. She runs seven kilometers in total. Calculate how many laps Sophie ran. Now the key to any worded problem involving lengths is that you need to ensure that everything is using the same unit. Now can we see that we've got two different units here? We've got something in meters here, whereas this is in kilometers. So we need to make sure they're the same unit. And I think it's easier to put them in the smaller unit of meters because a meter is less than a kilometer. So remember the conversion for meters and kilometers, one kilometer is equal to a thousand meters. Remember that kilo, the K, means a thousand. So Sophie is running laps of 500 meters. So let's write that one lap is 500 meters. And in total, she runs seven kilometers. Now seven kilometers, because one kilometer is a thousand meters, seven kilometers is 7,000 meters. So if one lap is 500 meters, and we want to find how many laps you would go in 7,000 meters, how do we do that? Well, we need to see how many times 500 goes into 7,000. Because how many lots of 500 we can get in 7,000 is how many laps we can go in that 7,000 meters. So the number of laps is just going to be 7,000 divided by 500. Now, do you remember with divisions, you can always divide both numbers by the same thing without changing the answer. So we could get rid of a zero on the end by dividing by 10. We could get rid of another zero from the end by dividing by 10. And we're just left with 70 divided by five, and that is 14. So we have 14 laps. 14 lots of 500 meters would give you the total distance of 7,000 meters. What about the second one? Juan runs 3.24 kilometers, followed by a further 820 meters. In kilometers, how far has Juan run in total? Now it wants the answer in kilometers, so we should probably make sure that both of these distances are in kilometers. Now if you run this amount, followed by a further amount, then the total distance would just be the sum of those two. So we want to add the 3.24 kilometers and the 820 meters. But remember I said, if we want to somehow combine these distances together, they need to be in the same unit. And because we want the answer in kilometers, we need to convert this meters to kilometers. So we got the 3.24 kilometers. And what's 820 meters in kilometers? Well, we saw in the previous video, to get from meters to kilometers, we need to divide by a thousand. We're going from a bigger number to a smaller number to get from meters to kilometers. So if we divide this by a thousand, the decimal point is currently at the end. Dividing by a thousand moves the decimal point three places left because a thousand has three zeros. One, two, three, it's 0 0.820 or 0 0.82. So it's 0.82 kilometers and now we can add these two distances together. So let's do some decimal addition. You could use a calculator here, but 3.24 kilometers plus 0.82 kilometers. Now four plus two is six, two plus eight is 10. So we put the zero, carry the one, and three plus zero plus the carried one is four. And making sure that there's a decimal point here and here, we need to put it here. So the answer, is 4.06 kilometers in total.